Hello, my name is Michaela, and welcome to a day in my life, resetting my life before the first day of school because it was Labor Day when I recorded this. I started off at home in Maine where I'd been visiting for Labor Day weekend and I woke up a little bit early to get done some homework because we had homework due on the first day. It was a torts reading, so it was all introductory, just kind of about how the tort system works. Once the rest of my family was up, we made some French toast. So this was something I hadn't had in so long. Honestly, I feel like it had been a couple of years since we'd made French toast together. So it was just a really special kind of morning. It was brisk out. It felt like a fall morning, even though it was still early September. Yeah, the French toast turned out really good, honestly. I look really awful right now. I've not done my hair or anything, but that's because I'm going to have a haircut before the school year starts. So right now I'm just going to get my hair all wet and everything so that it's um, a bit easier to gauge how long it is. Where it's puffy, it's hard to tell if it's dry, what length it's being cut to. So haircut, and then after that, I'm gonna get ready. Will you do a before picture for me, please? I sure will. I'm still, I still feel like I'm trying to decide what to I want to cut. cut. It what, do you, what do you think I should cut it to? Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can go bold. I just, where we're not having a stylist do it, I just... We never have a stylist do it, though. I feel like if we're doing something bold, I feel like you almost might... Although, well, maybe layers would make your hair just curl out completely. Yeah, I don't know if layers would be yeah, the answer. But I guess it's hard to tell because I'm wearing... I tried to tuck in my sweatshirt at one point. It's hard because I'm wearing a really long sweatshirt. I'm still wearing... A long short, so it's hard to tell. Yeah. But like my hip bones are right. Yeah, your hair is really here. long. Here's like my hip bone area. So I guess I don't know how much farther the hair is going beyond that. It's quite scattered too. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not as short as the last time that I chopped it off in high school. Because before that was like, really it's my down shoulder, down. I think. Let the record show that Renee is actually not a hairstylist and has not gone to beauty school. <laughs> <laughs> but she, Apologies, Michaela. No, but she knows how to cut hair. You're really good at it. No, you're yes. the only person that lets me cut her hair. I think you do a good job with it. Oh, we could make applesauce, sugar, cinnamon stick. We have clove. cinnamon sticks. Do have... Nutmeg. Oh, optional, optional, optional. We have we have nutmeg. We have butter. We, we do. Have... Well, we should have nutmeg. Oh, unless it's at my apartment. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but cinnamon we do have sticks. cinnamon sticks. Okay, cinnamon sticks. Oh wait, we have oh. nutmeg. Cloves. When does it expire? Oh, I have cloves. Okay. Gross. Oh no! It always smells like that. Oh. It smells clean. These are quite misfit apples. <laughs> they, we went apple picking yesterday, and they, it was a little bit gung ho of us because it was September first, so they didn't have a ton of options available. But we found some. They're probably a little tart. I don't know if I've ever shown this before. Probably not. I don't know. I made some weird random cooking videos a few years ago. It's this peeling thing. It is an apple peeler core. So, oh, you could decor it. I've never used the slicing option. This is the slicer. I don't think that came with it. Lush with me? <laughs> In theory, it's supposed to suction down, but it doesn't really suction down. Here. Yeah, no, I go like this. For some reason, it's like you crank it and it gets air. Oh, wait. Oh, did you hear it just pop? Oh, I can feel the... <laughs> anyway. Anyway. I never tire of it. <laughs> Ooh, it squirted. <laughs> It turned out that applesauce is actually incredibly easy to make, which I hadn't realized. Because pretty much once we just chopped up the apples and put them in the pot to boil with the ingredient, you know, the, the seasonings and everything, that was it. So as you can see here, this, it still needed a little bit more cooking at this point. It's a little bit chunky, but the tartness of the apples was actually kind of perfect for the flavor. I, th I think it worked out really well. After that, we left to grab lunch and so that my mom could drop me off at the train station to catch my train back to Boston. 
good that we left slightly early because you know, the first place we stopped at, um, it's a 20 to 30 minute wait. It was a pla new place we were trying. We didn't yeah. know we were supposed to do reservations. Okay, now we've come to our second place. Closed. And it's closed. Sundays um, and Mondays. Okay. So now we're going to try plan another third. C. Plan C. Third try. We ended up going to this little Mexican restaurant. It, it used to be like a Ruby Tuesdays and now it's occupied by Rio Bravo, which we had never been to before, but it was really good and we got this veggie burrito thing to split. We forgot again to record. <laughs> Hers is gone, so this is all we have to show for it. I'm still working on mine. It's raspberry cream horn that we got at Thompson's Orchards yesterday. It have a ton of apple cider donuts, cream horns, magic bars. Peanut That's where we picked our apples things, yesterday. Gelato, apple cider, so yeah. Decorating thing. Oh, it's like feed me, Seymour. Yeah. Wait, and then jump. Kick your legs up a little bit more. It's hard. <laughs> I wasn't picking up the broom and it's heavy. Okay, you ready? Yep. <laughs> that was a no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did well. The train was leaving at about 2 p.m. I can't remember exactly, but it was delayed, so I had to wait for a little bit. It's not nearly as bad though as the first time I took the Amtrak because the first time I took it, the train was delayed by 50 minutes. So it was not that bad this time. But my mom dropped me off and left, so then the train finally arrived, and I love how they put out these little bridge things because it makes me feel like I'm getting onto a boat. The train was busy because it was the end of the holiday weekend, so I didn't have like a road to myself or anything. I was sitting here in the aisle. A couple of hours later, we pulled into the station at Boston. Now gotten off of the Amtrak train, so I'm transferring to the subway now to get back to my apartment. So I still have maybe like an hour, but I also want to stop at the grocery store too. So I'm not going to get home until later in the evening. I didn't take the train because I thought it wasn't mine, but apparently you have to take that one to get to other lines. So I'm really stupid. I purposely was like standing, waiting for the doors to shut and I could have gotten on that train. But I think the next one comes in like three minutes, so it doesn't really matter. So a change of plans because I did not go to the grocery store. I'm instead just doing some random, I've got some vegetables. I've got, I think one egg left. Okay. I'm basically just gonna cook up some green beans, the egg, and then maybe some potatoes or something else. I'm not really sure exactly what I need to figure it out. But the tea was so packed as I kind of showed and I did not want to lose my seat. I did not want to wait with groceries on the sidewalk for a train that may not come, you know, cause they go express, which mine did go express. So I had to walk back from a different stop cause it didn't stop at my stop. Long story short, the whole travel journey from beginning to end was about three and a half hours where it's a two hour drive from my house. So it definitely takes a lot of extra time taking the Amtrak, but I am back now. So I'm going to prepare supper and yeah, and I will update you as the evening goes on. I've just packed up my backpack. I just, I actually recorded the whole time I was packing it, but my head was chopped off. So I'm just gonna give you a brief tour now. Basically, I've got this binder that I keep my notepads in to take notes. And then here's where I store my actual notes. I've got four folders, lawyering, contracts, civil procedure, and then torts. I've got multiple big massive textbooks. And from what I've heard, people keep their textbooks in their lockers at law school because BU gives us lockers and that way you don't have to haul these back and forth. As you can see, I mean, look at the size of my finger next to it. They're very big textbooks. That'll be convenient at least using my locker. I've got my planner. I have my ID card, my Charlie card for the T.
I've got pretty much everything ready as much as I can have it ready. So I have this out. I'm going to try to make my hair look nice after showering and then keep it in a t-shirt overnight so that it'll hopefully curl nicely tomorrow. I don't really know. We'll see how that will work out. And then my contacts ready to go. So yeah, so I'm pretty much ready for tomorrow. I will be vlogging more tomorrow for my entire first day of school. So that should be coming out soon, hopefully if I've been able to edit. Um, I honestly don't know. I'm very behind on editing, but thank you so much for watching. I hope that it was kind of relaxing going through a reset day in my life with me. Yeah, and I will continue recording and I will show what my first day of law school is like. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your week.